Are you flying alone soon? Are you scared you're gonna lose your luggage? Miss your flight? Nervous that you're gonna have like 18 panic attacks? Well, this video is for you. <laughs> everybody welcome to or back to my channel if you're new which you probably are new you should totally subscribe if you are new my name is Joe Stotts and today I'm gonna be telling you some things that you need to know before you fly alone earlier last year I flew alone for the very first time I did a whole video about it which you can check out so now I'm giving you guys some tips some things that I wish I would have known some things that really helped me and you need to get those notes out because I know the person watching this is nervous for flying alone for the first time so let's get started the first thing that you need to do is check in 24 hours prior before your flight. Usually your airline should remind you to do this, but if not, make sure you set an alarm. And then when you check in on your phone, this eliminates that step of going to the airport and having to check in on the little systems. Whether the airport is busy or not, those lines kind of pack up. So you wanna make sure you're checked in on your phone. After you check in, check what time your boarding actually starts. There will be a time on your boarding pass saying when the flight departs, but you need to see what time your flight actually boards because once boarding is done they close those doors and they are not opening it for anybody you could have all the reasons in the world they're not opening that door and I'm pretty sure boarding starts like 30 minutes before the flight actually departs so you want to go and check and make sure that you are there on time for boarding this brings me to my next tip of arriving early I cannot stress this enough depending on the airport which I'm from Atlanta and that airport is just crowded all the time busiest airport in the world I was always trained to be there like two hours early before boarding starts but you always want to be early not only so you have time to do everything that you need to do but sometimes flights leave earlier than their departure time like some flights get delayed and some flights the flight actually moves so you want to make sure you're there early and you're ready to go and honestly arriving early is going to eliminate so much stress so much anxiety because you know you have so much time to get everything done and if you're flying alone for the first time there's no need to rush and get things done and arriving early gives you time to kind of take time with what you're doing at each step. You're not super stressed out and you will see people running back and forth because they're missing their flights. It's the best feeling when you know that's not you and you're like, that sucks. So you wanna arrive early because you gotta go through TSA, you gotta find your gate, you gotta check your bags. But I'd rather be chilling at the airport, ready to go than be at home, you know, saying, oh, I have 30 minutes and then get there and it's packed. You know what I mean? Step number four is to follow the signs. When you go inside, you need to go through each step, checking your bag, going through security, finding your gate. You need to look at those signs no need to freak out so just look at the signs they're all above you all the gates all of the terminals if you are actually like super lost like the Atlanta Airport has a south and a north terminal you might be on the wrong side if you are really lost find like a cute old lady not somebody your age because normally they're like what do you want and hopefully they'll help you if they're rude about it at least you get to where you need to go you're never gonna see them again my next step is to pack light as you should know by now your bag has a weight limit whether you're checking it or doing a carry-on if you're doing a carry-on there is a specific size that you have to use because it has to fit in the overhead bins in the airplane make sure you're buying the right carry-on size if you go that route but if you're checking a bag your weight cannot be over I think it's like 40 pounds and if it is they're gonna charge you double like for a second bag I think it is and I think that's like 35 depending on the airline so you want to make sure you pack light don't pack stuff that you really don't need what I like to do is choose my outfit for each day like I literally try it on make sure I like it you don't need extra stuff just pack what you need that way you're able to weigh your bag they throw it on there and you're ready to go there's nothing more embarrassing than having a bunch of people have to help you with just your bag and there are people online waiting like it's really annoying for you it's annoying for them so make sure your bag is lightly packed you don't need everything in your closet and a life hack that I like to do is I stand on the weight scale see how much I weigh and then I carry my suitcase and do it again that way I know for sure it's not over the weight limit next tip which this is like the most important thing that you need to pay attention to if you're bringing a carry-on bag for the overhead bin or anything that you're bringing onto the airplane there are a set of rules of stuff that actually goes with you with liquids with sizing food everything like that your travel bag size in your carry-on bag has to be like a quart size bag everything has to fit in there literally just go to Walmart and get the travel size toilet tree holders and then the bag that they actually come in is smaller than a quart size bag so I recommend going onto Amazon and ordering a 
clear quart size bag, TSA approved. Make sure that it's clear. They have to see through it or they'll throw away all your stuff. It's happened to me before, it sucks. So make sure that it's clear. And honestly, if it's on Amazon, it says TSA approved, just order it, you'll be good to go. But that is just for carrying on bags. Like if you're checking a bag, you can bring your full size soaps or anything like that. But they just say to do smaller toiletries in a smaller bag for carry on, all just for security to make sure everybody is safe. Next tip is make sure your bag is kind of unique. You don't want to go to the airport with a black suitcase because everybody's gonna have a black suitcase. So when your bag is coming out on the belt, for one, it's easier to see. Two, somebody's not gonna accidentally grab it and think that it's theirs. And three, if your luggage gets stolen or lost, you have to report it and you can describe your suitcase. And if you're like, oh, it's black, you know, they're gonna be like, we can't help you. So just find something that's a little bit unique. I have a navy blue with yellow stripes on the side. So I'm able to notice it. And then you wanna make sure you have a tag number on there with your name, your address, your phone number. That way, if it does get lost, it has your name on it. You don't have to prove that it's yours. And yeah, tip number eight is make sure you have your IDs ready, handy, good to go. Throughout the airport, you're gonna have to show your ID when you're checking your bag, when you're getting your boarding pass, when you're going through security, you have to have your ID and your boarding pass handy. So make sure it's easily accessible throughout your duration at the airport because you're going to be having to get it a lot. Just anything that you'll need, make sure it's like right there in your purse, ready to go. Which leads me into my next tip of making sure that your boarding pass is just on your phone. Technology is so easy nowadays. And when you check into your flight, you're able to add your boarding pass into your wallet on your iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, I'm pretty sure you can just screenshot the QR code and just have it handy all day versus having like a piece of paper that you're like carrying around all day. And then TSA gets weird. They're like, don't put paper on the bin. So you have to like shove it in your purse. Like it's a whole ordeal. So having it on your phone is super easy. You could even screenshot it and make it your screensaver if you wanted to, just so you know, like it's always ready to go. Step number 10, do not pack water. I know you're gonna want water throughout your very hectic day at the airport, but they will throw it away. I do recommend packing a water bottle though in your purse or anything like that. That way, if you're in the airport and you wanna just buy a water and pour it in there, fill in your water, which I don't even know if the water fountains are open, but having a water bottle is still good, even for your actual trip wherever you're going, but just make sure your water is not full because they will have you dump it out. Tip number 11, oh my gosh, wear something comfortable and easy. Make sure your shoes are not like the most annoying shoes that have to be taken on and off. Don't wear too much jewelry because you're gonna have to take it off when you go through security. Don't wear a huge jacket. Don't wear something with a bunch of like metal or anything like that because when you go through, it's gonna, you know, ding, ding, ding. They're gonna be scanning you. It's not fun. So make sure you wear something super simple, just a t-shirt and sweats or a workout set. Just something that doesn't look like you can hide stuff all up in it. So just wear something that's not too much going on and then wear shoes that are easy to take off and put right back on. Step number 12, TSA. They're kind of intense, which they honestly have to be. Like, I know it's a common thing saying TSA sucks, TSA is rude, TSA takes their job way too seriously. But in all honesty, they do have a pretty serious job. If anything happens on the plane and they were the person checking that person that went on the plane and did something, like that's on them and it's tough and it's scary. It is a serious job. There are really bad people out there. So just keep in mind that TSA will be pretty intense. They might be rude, but it's okay. Just go quickly through, get your stuff, mind your business, stay in your lane, and do what you have to do. Listen to TSA. In the security line, they will be repeating different guidelines and security precautions that you have to do. They're gonna be saying it over and over, not to be rude, but just to let people know. That way when they get in line, they follow instructions. You might miss it because you're so stressed out and that's totally okay. They will be kind of annoyed because they told you a million times, don't do this, this, or that. But ultimately, just follow what they say, do what they tell you to do, and you'll be good to go. If you are bringing a carry-on bag and you have your toiletries in there, make sure it's at the top of your bag. Some locations ask you to take the actual toiletries out. So you're gonna have to put your suitcase down, unzip it, get that out, and it's gonna be okay. Just make sure it's at the top. But most of the time, they don't ask you to do that. I've never been asked to do that. But on the actual TSA website, they do say that they do that. So just be ready for that. And it's gonna be a little bit stressful in the line. It really is because there's people behind you and somebody behind you might have just one bag and they're like waiting on you to get all of your stuff up there. But honestly, just take your time. If somebody behind you is late for their flight, that's on them and it's not on you. Take your time. This is about you getting to your flight on time and there's really no need to stress. I really hope this video helped you, calmed you down a little bit for your first flight alone. Comment below where you're going, how old you are. I'm so excited to hear about it. And if you have not seen my video of where I fly alone for the first time, it is linked down below and you can check it out. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You should totally subscribe if you're new. Comment below what you want to see next and I will see you
see you in the next vlog. Bye!